Hello and welcome to Lightning Charts. In this video, we will work with LC.NET. Lightning Chart offers many options for data visualization. In the last video, we explored how to visualize two-dimensional data in the form of a real-time scrolling XY chart. Today, let's look at working with three-dimensional data in Lightning Chart. Learning Chart offers many options and configurations to visualize 3D data. Here are some of the most popular examples that you can find in your interactive examples application. These examples are free to edit and use however you see fit. Let's also quickly add the Learning Chart control. Set the Active View property to View 3D. This is an alternate way to set a view through XML instead of the code behind. Let's also name this instance of Lightning Chart to Chart. Now, we'll create some methods to initialize the chart. After that is done, we get the instance of the chart, and then extract the reference to the view object. Since this is a 3D chart, we will use the view 3D property. This video will also follow a similar structure like the 2D charts video, where we create a chart instance, initialize its axis, and then add a data series to it to represent data. Let's now configure the axis. Axes are configured in a similar manner to 2D charts, with the one exception that we now must define a third Z axis also. For this video, we will be using a 3D line series to represent a linear 3D data. So, when we configure the data series, we will use the point line series 3D class instead of the regular point line series class. Also, note that we set some properties here to customize the look and feel of this data series. While most of them are self explanatory, if you wish to know more about what they do, please pause the video and look at the user manual or online documentation linked below for help. Finally, using the system timer object, let's add random data to this series every 50 milliseconds. We will need points for our chart. Remember that a 3D chart needs three axes. We will make a loop that generates points for the five series that we specify in the series count variable. For the x axis, we will start from a value zero, which will increase for each series. For the y axis, we will generate a random value. The z value will correspond to the number of the series in process. To update values in a chart, it is necessary to use the begin update method. This method disables control repaints. When finished, we need to enable repainting by calling the end update method. Now let's compile the chart and see how it looks. As you can see, our line series have been rendered onto the chart. Since this is a 3D chart, there are some slight differences in the way we interact with the chart. Zoom operations are now performed with a mouse scroll. We can now also rotate the chart around the Z axis and view the data point from a different perspective. This concludes this introductory video on 3D charts. Please feel free to browse our extensive collection of interactive examples to get a sense of the many ways in which a lightning chart can power your next data visualization application. Thank you very much and goodbye.